Hey everybody, my name's Owen, and welcome to my walkthrough of my final version of my Quake map that I made, Castle of the Dead. You can see walking around here, we're on the outside of the castle, some zombies around. You can't kill them, you just need an explosive or some sort of way to give them. But you can knock them down, and you can avoid them. Going into the water here, we see the other button that we need to get that door open. There's some fish in here. I added a little secret here. It's not necessary to beating the level, but I thought it would be cool to add. It just makes this section a little bit easier. See sequence complete. So the door is open. And because we picked up that quad damage from the secret, we can actually give these zombies with the shotgun. Picking up the nail gun here, cause these knights to target us. If you didn't get the nail gun from the secret, this is where you would have gotten it. This is the main entrance of the castle, it's the foyer. You can see the staircase here and some other rooms. Going into the west wing here, the knights to target us. See that button over there? We need to press 2 to get that door open, kind of like before. See uh, some nails here. Press this button, tells us we need one more button. Because there's a fair amount of backtracking in this level, I wanted to make it more interesting by having more enemies spawn in over time. Now that we've pressed those two buttons though, the dining hall is opened up. We can enter in. See, it's this big arena with all these enemies. This table in the middle. See on the pedestal here, there's a key. I put it on that pedestal so it's a bit easier to spot. You can see the staircase here, but trying to interact with it, it tells you you need the gold key. That's just so that the player knows where to go later, because right now they only have the silver key. I just wanted to make sure they didn't get lost and that, you know, the pacing was consistent. But now that we have the silver key, we can go up the stairs here. It's the one room we haven't been yet. So either the player checked it out earlier and saw that they need to get the silver key, or they'll check it out now. Interacting with the door will cause it to open. You can see some scrags in the air, in the upstairs now. They might not see you at first, but once you pick up the nail gun, they'll start to come. I just wanted to introduce these enemies in, uh, in an easier environment, because you're going to have to fight them later in a group environment the boss. Uh, I also wanted the player to give them a chance to test out the super nail gun. Pressing this button here will open up this one. See more of the threat. And there's also a war now in the middle. And walking into the room will cause that door to shut behind us. So now we're stuck in here until the encounter is over. There's some columns around so that you can get those. Alright, picking up this gold key here, cause another board to spawn. I placed these columns around the level so that you can uh, dodge the Vor's projectile, because it will follow you until it hits an object. 
once we kill that door, that door opens up and we can finally leave. I had it set up like that so that the player can just run in and grab the key. I wanted them to actually have to fight all the enemies in the room. And after we picked up that key, more enemies have spawned. Grab a bit more ammo there. We'll head down. See some zombies have came in on this little platform. We picked up that rocket launcher earlier from the secret. You don't need it for this part, you can just get past them, but it does make it a bit more fun. Lights around the wall. Now that we have the gold key, we can get in here. It opens up. We're in the basement now. Kind of like the dungeon of the castle. You can see all these cells around. These knights kind of go to the entrance. We'll attack you. Behind these stairs here, there's a little secret, some armor and some health. In the basement, there's these spawns. I thought they fit well in the setting. I thought it would help theme along with sort of this, uh, this old abandoned castle. Got all these monsters inside. Similar to the Scrags, I wanted to introduce the spawns by themselves in like an easier environment so the player could get used to them. So we're going to have to deal with more later. Entering the room here, we can see there's this little boss room, the Shambler, and more of those spawns. Using the super gun, it makes this quite a bit easier. And once he's dead, the door opens up. You can kill the spawns, but I ran out of ammo, so I'm just going to run past. And that's the level. Yeah, thank you for watching.